All right, Kay, this is for you. So, first of all, I'm having a really bad hair day and I'm trying to come to terms with it. But the disaster date, that is too long to text. First of all, when I was at, it started when I was in Toronto on the Greyhound when I was texting you. And um, I sat next to this guy named Andy. He was really nice and we talked. We didn't exchange numbers, but he looked me up on Facebook later. And then this weekend he asked me to go out to lunch. And I was like, sure, why not, you know? So Monday we go out for lunch, and it starts out great. I meet him at the school. We go to some Chinese buffet, whatever. But right away, like it starts out good. He's being a gentleman opening doors, but then it just it's, it gets terrible quickly. He doesn't pay, which is fine. It was an official date, but he didn't even offer to pay. I'm sorry, but it's like I don't know. It would have been a good idea if he did. And then, he knows I'm in SMF, so he thinks it's okay to talk to me about sex the whole time. Like, I know more than just about sex. He decides, he tells me stuff that he shouldn't tell me until at least the fifth day. Easily. Oh my god, easily. First of all, he tells me with his ex-girlfriend that one time while they were having sex, her legs went numb. Like, she just couldn't feel them nothing what i don't want to know that as a potential future girlfriend i don't want to know that if we do have sex the lower half of my body is going to be paralyzed for an undisclosed amount of time okay but it gets better believe it or not um next i say that i don't know if i want a commitment because i just don't know if i'm ready for that stage and that everyone I know is getting married and having babies, which is fine, but it's not for me right now. And he tells me, oh, I'm not going to lie. I did get my ex-girlfriend pregnant and convince her to have an abortion. What would possess him to tell me this on the first date? Oh, my gosh. He's like, yeah, she wanted to keep it, but I talked her out of it. I don't need to know that. Like, I probably didn't need to know that my whole lifetime. I don't really, like, no. It just makes me think less of you. I'm sorry. It does. Like, if she wanted to keep it, she should have kept it. Anyways, moving on. So, yeah, it does, in fact, keep getting worse. So, we're apparently near his house, and he's like, oh, I wanted to get my gym clothes. Do you mind if we stop by? And I was like, oh, no, that's fine. You know, whatever. So, we're at his house, and he's getting his gym clothes. And, uh... He comes out of his room and he like grabs my side and I, I fucking hate that killer. Oh my gosh. Like, honestly, I would say something right now, but I know other people are going to see this video and it would be offensive. Anyways. Um, yeah, and so then we just watched some TV, but that is a nightmare in itself. He's like, oh, do you want to watch Ellen? And I was like, sure, no problem. I have a while before class. But I'm like, I'm thinking, I know where this is going, blah, 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 and I don't want it to go there. So I, like, curl into the arm of the couch with a pillow right here, thinking that clearly says, I don't want to cuddle, you know, this is very casual. No. Doesn't he sit down? And he takes the pillow. He takes the pillow off my lap. Like, no. No, no. And then, it doesn't stop there. He puts his arm around me and pulls me into him. So by this time, I'm, I'm pretty freaking annoyed about the whole situation. And so I just sit like this with my legs crossed. Like, clearly this means I'm not really open to physical contact at the moment. He puts his arm around me and grabs my hand from under here. Okay. But then, if I didn't look pissed off enough already... He talks to me right here and starts, like, talking in my ear and, like, ugh, saying, I don't even know what he was saying, but it wasn't cute, that's for sure. And I just tell him, I'm like, listen, I know you're used to having girls fall in your lap, but I am not going to kiss you. Like, this isn't even an, an official first date. And he's like, oh, is there anything I can do to change that, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, like, you're going to have to work a lot harder. And I told him, I was like, you didn't even pay for my meal, why? Why do you think I would even kiss you? And that's exactly... I'm a big, big believer in the exchange theory. And for all you psych fans or soch fans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, 
if you don't pay for my lunch, you're not going to get anything at all. Call me old-fashioned if you want, but it's ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, it's just, ugh, it's a nightmare. I don't even know. There's probably more, and I just can't think of it right now. But anyways, hopefully this works, because I was trying to upload it on Facebook, and it was just, it was not working. But yeah, you should get back to me and let, uh, let me know what you think about the whole thing. Oh, and he tried calling me, and I had to ignore him, because I don't want to go out with him again. But he's going to keep calling me. Tell me what to do. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye!